So what are you guys working on over here? Uh, we're julienning uh, the vegetables here. I have some nice fresh fennel mm -hmm. that we're just, uh, we're cutting really thin here. And uh, the doctors over here are cutting off our heirloom fingerling tomatoes, uh, potatoes, I'm cool sorry. Little uh, purple potatoes. Yep. Yes, these are actually, I just found out from Chef Matt, these are actually from Peru. Nice, oh. yeah. right in your backyard. <laughs> yes. Well, Peru is known for their potatoes, I know that. That's pretty cool. These seem kind of like much more moist than your typical potatoes. Now, are they already cooked? Yes, those are just, uh, they're boiled in salted water just okay. a little bit. Because they need to cook <laughs> at the same time as the fish and the rest of the veg. The okay. veg we're going to put in raw, but the potatoes have to be cooked a little bit ahead of time. Gotcha. Now, I have to point out this uh, this technique that you've been doing with the squash mm -hmm. here. I noticed that you're only cutting the outside portions to julienne. Well, yes. The, uh, the seeds could tend to be a little bit mushy mm -hmm. right, when they're cooked. Yep. And so we want to you know, keep this nice and crisp, the vegetables, because the, the cooking time on this is about 12 to 15 minutes. Okay. So they're really, they're just, they're not going to be cooked a lot. So we, that's, you retain a lot of nice freshness. That yeah, way. for sure. Nice. That's nice. a really cool tip. Yeah, I'm picking up a lot of experience I know. And tips just, just from watching. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, usually with uh, squash or zucchini, you really want to remove the seeds unless you're going to make something that's more like a stew because mm. they tend to be a little bit more mm -hmm. more wet. They can keep their, mm -hmm. their texture better mm -hmm. that way. I love that. Nice, nice. I like the julienne, too. I'm sure that's really like, nice. Like maybe frying these as like a, like a healthy snack Abs type of thing? Sure. I mean, I've definitely made actually uh, zucchini fries. Yum. Mm -hmm. And you can even make those in the oven. So like if you better. if you yes. take the outside of the zucchini and cut it a little bit bigger, more like a baton cut, mm -hmm. and then you can uh, <coughs> bread that with a uh, you know, little bit of flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs, yes. and spray a with a little bit of spray, and then you can mm -hmm. put it in a hot oven, and they get nice and crisp. Perfect. And so it's a little you don't need to fry. healthier alternative. Definitely healthier good to know. If I'm you're cooking at home, it's less messy. Yeah. yeah. You can cut those tomatoes. What, these? You can cut, go ahead oh. and cut those tomatoes in half gotcha. as well. In half. Right. Always got a right. job for you. <laughs> so we're going to just julienne these nice. leeks these here. These leeks? Yep. Nice. And do you work with a lot of local produce? Uh, as much as possible. Area? I mean, obviously with the, the winter, it's a little bit a little more difficult, but we do <laughs> have some uh, hydroponic farms and things that cool. are happening up around there that we try to take advantage of. Nice. And during the summer months, we use, you know, everything that is local as possible through our purveyor. Fantastic. Now, what exactly does that mean for people who with hydroponic farms? Is me, for example. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's grown in a greenhouse indoors, and it's done in, in water, ah. nutrient-rich water, rather than soil. Okay. And so it's like a, they're raised in circulating tanks, so they could do that year-round. Oh, wow. And, gotcha. And the, the food matures faster mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know when that. it's hydroponic. And it's probably great from a, you know, a reliability perspective for you as a chef, because mm -hmm. Unlike a traditional farm that's outside, you don't really know what you're going to get because you don't know what the weather is going to be, but okay. you pretty much always know what to expect right, from this farm. Right, right. From a hydroponic so these farm. we're just going to rinse off over here in a little Alrighty. bit. And we're just <laughs> going to, so we got our little Way. vegetable mix here. We're just going to like sear some lemons off here. Oh, nice. To serve with the fish, because that really mm. gives it a nice caramelized flavor. Flavor. And then it's going to open up the, uh, the juices, so when you squeeze it, you get more of the juice out. Good stuff. I grabbed the butter for you from the fridge. All right, fantastic. That would be the last thing. Okie doke. Oh, it smells good. It really does. <laughs> it's and we just could lemons. All, <laughs> we could all roll these together here. And what we have here is a, a piece of parchment paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You want it this okay. way? Yep, absolutely. Cool. Here you go, doctor. All righty. One here. And one all right, you ready me. for this? I'm ready. Let's and the this. first thing, I'm going to cut a few slices of our, of our butter here. Nice. Look right. at the color on that. It's yeah, so pretty. Know, yeah. Like nice pattern, everything inside yeah. of it. I guess we're going to lose that when it cooks, though, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that big piece. That uh, can be oh. fine. <laughs> right, I'm just Did you want the big piece? <laughs> set these here. We'll put this out of the way. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our paper. Okay. And mm -hmm. the first thing we're going to put down is some potatoes. And you're going to want to be more towards the, the, front, the front third okay. Of, okay. of your thing. So just take a few and you just kind of arrange them. You want to keep about two inches from the bottom here. Okay. Right? We're just going to take just a little bit of a uh, little bit of salt okay. on there. Okay. Got to make the potatoes taste good. Right. Okay. Just a little bit. Right. Because we're being healthy. Oh yeah. We've got a lot of 
<laughs> aromatics going on, so we won't need as much salt. Okay, so. And then we have our vegetable mixture here. Right, so we can just take take a nice handful of that. And this there. is the zucchini go. squash, <laughs> the fennel and leeks. That's right. Right? And we're just going to put that on the top, of our, stuff. On top <laughs> of our potatoes. Keep it kind of centered here. Okay. Alrighty. All right. And then I'm going to grab our halibut. Okay. And here we have our beautiful halibut fillets. I'm just going to. Season them a little bit more salt. All right. A little bit of fresh cracked pepper. I'm gonna pull our lemons off. It looks, looks good. good. I know. It's <laughs> All right. And then we're just gonna take take one each. Take okay. one fillet and oh, just kind of drape it over the top one. there. Beautiful. Carefully. Yeah, just Very nice. Great job. Drape that over the top. Yours is bigger than. All right. We can grab <laughs> a butter here. Oh, a little paper there. Grab a slice of butter right Okey in the doke. middle of Thank your fish. You. Oh, right there. Boom. I did get the big right one. Right there, you All did. Right. Now, <laughs> well, your you piece of fish is bigger. Grab a little bit of these uh, lovely heirloom tomatoes. Just we'll right. Just put some on top and around. Kind of where, around. Kind of wherever yeah. they, kind of wherever they, they fall. fall is okay. okay. Keep them here. Alrighty. All right, and the last, and then we're gonna do. Uh, Still doesn't look like his. <laughs> we're just gonna take. We're gonna take a little bit of dry white wine. And we're okay. just gonna squirt that in the veg there. That helps get the steam going and helps mm -hmm. the fish cook. Nice. So just put it around like the bottom just or like over the top, wherever you like. Really, there. it's really no. A little bit there. There we go. Yeah, wherever you like it. Okay. Oh, you really got it. You just went for it. All yeah, right. Why not? You know. All right. Then we make What's our fold. What's the worst that can happen? Okay. So this is the, the challenging part. Yes. So we're bringing it over, and you kind of want to make, kind of want to make sure that the. That the ends are going to meet here. Okay. Right? You want to hold your hand. <laughs> I think I made mine too big. That's all right. You want to, it'll fit, it'll go in there. Okay. You don't need that much room on the end. Okay. And just kind of hold hold the top of it like that. You want a little crazy with the veggies. And you start up here at the corner. Okay. And we're just going to make like a continuous fold. So we make uh, one fold over. So it's like food fold origami. It. Yeah, yeah it there you origami. go. <laughs> all right, we're just going to continue to fold. Okay, this right, I think I'm doing pretty okay. I'm going to go all the way around. Looking good so far. Right. How you doing over there? I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> Looks great. All right. All right. We'll keep going around till we get to the end. Oops. Oh, oh. This is almost like a giant patty. All right. Of now, vegetables. when you get there, yeah, you're gonna want to like put it I under, love those. tuck yeah. it in a little bit. Did I, did I get that? Yep. Just tuck it so it doesn't unravel. Put, put one more on there. Just put it right here on our tray. All right. Damn. All right. One here. Uh, oh, I got my own tray. You got your own tray. Oh, awesome. <laughs> and then we're just going to take, if you guys want, just take okay. take a little bit of canola oil, which isn't really going to, it's not going to influence the fish. It's really mm -hmm. just for the paper so that doesn't okay, burn. Okay, so we're just brushing it that. It gives a little, little bit of color on the paper. Ah, uh, Just going to brush see. that over. So I get to be kind of go. artistic with this now. That's right. <laughs> so uh, I just like. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you like Picasso. Something like that. There, there we go. Oh, great. There we go. Into yours? Or? Yeah, behind sure. the back <laughs> And then we're going to pop these in the oven. You want to use a high oven. Um, normally, I use a convection oven. So okay. the, the timing may vary a little bit depending on how hot your oven is. Mm -hmm. But normally, it's going to be about a 12 to 15 minute, depending on how hot your oven is. Right. And hey, look at that. And hey, look, we have one here <laughs> that we already have prepared. Oh, it did get nice and brown so on top. So it gets nice and brown. Sizzling. All right. Well, that's that's the best part of this this presentation. It looks a little, you know, it's just paper, but right. the best part of the presentation is when you open it. So, is this how you serve it? Absolutely. Table side, you open it up. Yep, we yes. have the ah. the waiters open it up table side. So Very cool. You put that here. Uh, grab one of our nicely caramelized oh, wow. lemons there. Oh wow! Look at that. And then I have here. This is a agramato. So this is a lemon infused olive oil mm. from Italy. And what they do is. They actually press the lemons with the olives when they extract the oil. Wow. So it, it, it has no juice, but it gets all the flavor all from the, the lemon rind. Yeah, nice. Right. Let's bring it over so to the table. Let's bring it over here. So basically, then, I need to rearrange my entire like cabinet of like oils and stuff. <laughs> well, when you go for the more flavorful oils, you really use less oil. So, oh. it's, so you're getting more flavor out of the oil that you use. If you use just a canola oil or something like that, it really doesn't right. add anything Another to the tip. dish. Brilliant. 